Are we on? Uh, we are live. Well, we're not live, but oh. yeah, we're on. <laughs> what's right, Gee, good? What we need an intro. All right, what's our intro? Intro? Uh, <laughs> I've paid all my tickets. <laughs> <laughs> I actually did just that. Uh, okay, just who? who <laughs> all right. Who of Albo yeah. should have a boxing match? A boxing match? Yeah. Like two against each other? Yeah. Like pair up everyone. Oh. Group versus group. Like two, okay. two people versus two okay. people. We're you? Gonna make a, uh, we're going to make a card right now. And then Eddie Hearn, if you're listening, call yeah, us. Call us. It's your boy versus David Perdy. Okay. Because, you know, like I'm taking consideration the weight, the height, the all yeah, that. Yeah, I guess closest size. Yeah. Um, Ryan, I feel like me and Ryan, I want to fight Ryan so bad. I really yeah, want I would to fight watch Ryan. that fight. I would you watch know? that fight. I would really want to fight Ryan. I feel like Jad. Imagine Jad and DJ. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yeah, yo, 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 you're fight. roasting. You're roasting. <laughs> um, or Jad and Dustin. Jad and Dustin. Okay. Maybe you know, Charlie. Charlie and DJ would be a great fight. What? Nah. <laughs> Charlie, Charlie and Jad, or Charlie and Ryan. But I want to fight Ryan. I'm down right now. I fight Ryan any day. All right, I'm. That's the one I'm down to see the most. You know, guys, comment, comment in the or wherever it is. I guess you can't comment on the listening, but if you're watching, comment who you would r- like to see the most in Team Albo scrap. Yeah. That'd but be a great fight. With that being said, roll the intro music. You got bamboozled. Vavs, and we're back. All right, now <laughs> speaking of fighting, yeah, the KSI Logan Paul fight just went down. Yeah, two and, days ago. Uh, right? We didn't go because we're irrelevant, so we didn't go. No. We we almost went. We almost went. We could have gone. But uh, me, me, Ryan, <laughs> and Jad went to the first one in Manchester, which was a huge vibe. It was way bigger, no? Uh, no. Well, like the, way the more arena, people, were, more people were there. Yeah, more people yeah. were there. But um, I think there was more coverage for this one. Bro, have you seen how many celebrities were? Yeah, bro, zone? that was insane. Justin Bieber was there. Bro, Rick Ross in, was in the yeah. ring. Little baby was in the ring. Like. Yo, shout outs to those guys. Bro, honestly, take in Justin Bieber is boys now with Logan Paul. Bro, he posted him on I his know. Instagram. But the second post was cringe. Twice. Yeah, yeah, after the fight was done, he posted Logan Paul should have won all caps. Like, that's a little cringe. Like, move on. You know, I love Justin Bieber. Bro, he's Justin Bieber. Nothing he does is cringe. Just accept it. He's he's the God. He is he, the God. He is, but like, it's, it's, bro, it's weird. To me, it's like. It he, is kind of weird how much he's loving off Logan, but yeah. like. Taken how wavy that is if you're Logan. Bro, if it's you're Logan Paul, that's ever. that's yeah. a bigger win a- than winning the fight. Yeah. It's bigger that JB is your boy now. Yeah. And he's rapping you and posing you on IG than if you'd won. For sure. But Taken then, like JB knows who KSI is, who all these guys is now. Yeah, 100%. You know, from that's the fight. That's crazy. I feel bro. like he's bored. Like, J- he has nothing Justin to Bieber do. is bored, 100%. Yeah. Why, why, like, I, I would love to get into his, just be a fly on the wall and be like, when, and see what happened that made him decide, you know what? I'm going to post Logan Paul on my Instagram, yeah, and then I'm yeah. going to go to the fight. Like, what ha- what happened? I Imagine know. when Logan seen it, like Justin Bieber posted him. That's you think crazy. he knew it was going to happen, or do you think it was a shock? And they, he, if he uh, wasn't, if he didn't know it was going to happen, he was probably so amped when he saw that. Yeah, like, that is crazy. cause for self. I would pop bottles. Yeah, if yeah, Justin yeah. Bieber posted me on his Instagram, I would go out and party like I just made $10 million. Yeah, for sure. That's a big achievement, bro. It's Justin Bieber. Bro, that's a huge the made it moment. Yeah. Huge made it moment. But, <coughs> yeah. yeah, the fight was good. You watched it? Did yeah, you watch we wa- bro, we went to Joey's uh, restaurant here in Ottawa, and we had I was streaming it on my phone, and we had a bet, me and Dave. Yeah. I, like, Dave told me, pick who you want to win. I wanted KSI to win for two reasons, because, like, Logan was bullying KSI and, like, asking him math questions. But what's the point of Like, he's, Logan is really smart at, t- like, trash talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really smart. But I wanted... Like, I hate when someone trash talks and then win. That makes the other guy look so small and, you know? Yeah. But since KSI won, I was happy. But I had my bet on Logan because yeah. Dave wanted KSI. So I put uh, money on Logan. And How much did you lose? Just 100. Oh, that's but, nice you know, it's, it's, that's 100. 100 bucks. Still a lot of money, though. It went out 100 of my bucks. The thing is, Logan was the favorite, too. Yeah. Take that yeah, in. yeah. And, and, like, I'll be honest. I If I had to put my money on something ahead of the fight, I probably <coughs> would have put it on Logan. I wanted KSI to win. Exactly. And I thought it was still going to be a, a close fight. But, dude, Logan just he, he just looked so much 
better bigger as a fighter. Yeah, yeah. He just looked huge. I don't yeah. get it. Did you see him blaming it on his sneeze after? Bro, that was cringe. <laughs> that was that so was funny. If you take it out, the one thing you you ever watch Conor McGregor after he lost? Um, I which game? I don't know. Which every time, well, every time he loses, like he'll talk all kinds of shit before <laughs> the fight, and then when he loses, he sits down and he just says, you know, he was the better man tonight. Oh, that's like, and he just owns up to it. He doesn't like come up with all these excuses, despite being the biggest shit talker in the game. You would you would think he would come up with some excuses. Oh, he always says I was. But he bad? just says, yeah, no, I lost. Okay. Like that, he he beat me fair and square. He was the better man tonight. Mm-hmm. This is you know I need to work on this that and like that's what you have to do when you take an L in life. You just accept it and move forward. Don't try and come up with all these excuses. Yeah. You just get memed. That's what happened. Bro, the best meme is when um. Let's go home, champ, from this. <laughs> I died, bro. <laughs> That's I died. deadly. Yeah. Bro, Shannon Briggs is... He's uh, jokes. He's I, you, bro, you know he, he was a boxing man and, like, fighting and everything? Yeah, and he's champion. a heavyweight champion. I never knew. I thought he was just, like, an uh, internet guy. I never bro, he knew. looks like he's kind of kind of chubby under his sweater and yeah, stuff now. Yeah, yeah, chubby. He's deezed. Really? Six-pack ripped, shre- like, deezed. No. Unless in the last two years he's changed. Bro, I saw I, I started just like, bro, this opened up my YouTube Explorer page or home feed yeah. to like a whole new world of stuff. Mm-hmm. And I started getting these recommendations of Shannon Briggs <laughs> trolling um, whoever the the other heavyweight champion was yeah. or is a, was a couple of years ago. The, the Russian guy. I can't yeah. remember his name. Anyways, he's trolling him and he'd literally follow him everywhere he went <laughs> and just be roasting. Like there's one... One time where he's uh, he's on a paddleboard in the mm-hmm. middle of the ocean. The guy's training. Yeah. And and uh, what's his face pulls up. Jay's trying to. Yeah, we're yeah, we're yeah. in the middle of a story you know, here, Jay. Cut. You're just <laughs> distracting us. You're supposed to be part of the team. Um, so uh, so yeah. So he's on a paddleboard working out. Yeah. By himself in the middle of the ocean, and Shannon Briggs is on a <laughs> boat pulling up beside him, going, "Let's go, champ! No. Let's go, champ!" Oh. And, and he gets the guy driving the boat to like cause waves and <laughs> knock the man off his board. Oh and my shit. god! And, like they're ready to beef. He went into a, into a, uh, like a shop while the guy was having a meal. Pulls up on him, grabs his meal, starts eating. He's like, "Wherever <laughs> oh, you go, yeah. I go. What you eat, I eat." No, no, like oh, going, going off, off on yeah, him yeah, yeah. and then the guy's like yeah you, you want some water pours the water on his head oh my he god f- bro he flipped chucked the table <laughs> over some bouncers came and dragged him out it was zook but that's shannon point, briggs shannon briggs and every time he would rip his shirt off and he's deezed oh my still god still looks yeah. the same bald gray-haired let's go champ shit going off yeah but yeah he's uh he's an interesting guy i still want to see vital or uh yeah vital no not vitali someone vidal like- vidal and him fight vidal want to fight him Bro, him and Vidal were going at it. Oh, bro, did you not see the clip where where Shannon Briggs like snuffed Vidal's cousin or some random guy? No, no, no. Bro, this, there was crazy stuff going on. Shout out yeah. to Joe Weller for all the videos he was posting yeah. behind the scenes. Oh yeah, Joe. Weller. And you seen the fake um, Ed Sheeran? Yeah, I didn't see the video, but I saw like a picture of it. Yeah, that shit looked good. It looked exactly like Ed yeah. Sheeran. Everyone was taking pictures with him. Yeah, that's crazy. That's yeah. smart though. That's, that's a good one to smart. do it at. Yeah. But yeah, what do you think of the fight? You think it was fair? It was. It was a fair. A lot of really? controversy around it. It was really fair. Like, I, like it was. It went good. I knew K- KSI played better. Like at some point, I've seen Logan. Like, I said KSI is gonna knock him down now because mm-hmm. Logan fell two, three times, and then um, Logan knocked him one time, mm-hmm. and then I don't know. They said it. It wasn't legal that he knocked him. Something like he said. Yeah, he, he yeah. yeah. Him well, d- did you not like really watch all the background stuff? I couldn't because like yeah, you were I, yeah. In, uh, watching on a phone. Yeah. Yeah. So what what happened for anyone who didn't like get to watch it back or didn't watch it at all? Basically, KSI got one knockdown, but they they ruled it as it wasn't a knockdown because it was kind of behind the head a little bit. But all the people who were watching it live, like the commentators, were like, mm-hmm. "No, that was a knockdown, or that should have been a knockdown." But it, it's it's whatever the ref calls in real time. So the ref said it wasn't a knockdown, so it didn't count. And but it like it, in the moment, it really you could tell he was knocked down because he he hit him to the ground. Yeah. And then Logan Paul was like trying to tackle him, which is something you do when you're not all there. Yeah, like you've yeah. you've got rocked. You're just like not boxing anymore. You're trying to survive. So he's like trying to take. KSI down. He was like oh, grabbing his legs. Yeah, yeah. So that I that was that should have been scored a knockdown, but it wasn't. And then what happened after was uh, Logan Paul hit him with a clean one, clean uppercut that really yeah. rocked him. Yeah. And then the second punch, which I think is the punch that actually sent him to the ground, he grabbed the back of his head and pulled him down as he punched, which you're not allowed to do. Oh. You can't like pull and pu- it's yeah. just you can you can, you have to punch. And then that's what sent him to the floor. And then as he was going down, he hit him in the back of the head, which you also can't do. And okay. then when he was fully down, 
he, he hit knocked him again. again. Yeah. So he did three illegal punches. And, oh, nice. And then they basically said, uh, like, negative two points for all of that. Yeah. But they did give him the knockdown, which I think... It was a clean uppercut, bro. I've seen it. The first it. one was a clean uppercut, but I don't think that yeah. would have knocked him down on its own. Yeah, yeah. So I think they that he gave him the knockdown and then gave him the negative two points to bounce it all out. There's videos yeah. where he explains the reasoning behind it. But basically, I think I think it was fair. It was fair, yeah. And if it didn't happen that way, then it would have been a tie. But since KSI got his knockdown taken away, which wasn't fair... Yeah. Then I still think overall KSI should have won the fight. Yeah. And, and he did. So. And did you see after the the guy is like, so do you see yourself fighting Logan again? Uh, Logan and then he's KSI like, says, hell nah, nah. nah. Go fight CM Bro, Punk. Bro, no. that killed me. Yeah, there's <laughs> no point in them fighting again. It's yeah. just, it's, it, I already wasn't very interested in the yeah, second yeah. one compared to the first one. Logan said yes. He's like, I'm th- I would fight him again. Yeah, of course he would because yeah. he just lost. KSI said, go fight CM Punk. I died. <laughs> that was too funny. But yeah, yeah, that's like go nice do UFC or something. Yeah, MMA, that's a good yeah. But yeah, it was it was entertaining. It was cool for YouTube for sure. I agree with everything they said that it's like a big moment for YouTube, for sure. and yeah. I respect all that stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm happy KSI won. I was I was worried, but I'm yeah. definitely team team KSI. When we were, I think the reason I'm team KSI is I just the UK YouTube scene is so dope. Yeah. It's so Yeah, you cool. love them. You I love, love the all man. those guys. Like when we yeah. went to the UK and we were hanging out with them, they're super nice, super inclusive, really friendly. You don't get that same vibe with the US YouTube. You it's not bad. Like the the phase guys are cool. Um and yeah. and like when you go to the Cloudhouse, it's they're really nice and everything, but the UK scene is just so like I just love it. I just think yeah. what they're doing there, they're doing it right. And I like all those guys a lot. So I was just team UK yeah. and team KSI. So I'm happy that he pulled it out. And yeah, uh, yeah it was, it was, it was a good. A, it was entertaining. It was a good fight. The fight yeah. before it was interesting too. Did you see that one? Bro, yeah. The, the fake Logan, the Logan look fake, alike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That <laughs> Bro, was that so was jokes. weird. That was yeah. a weird, <laughs> weird fight. I feel like they put it on purpose for I swear reason. they told the guys beforehand, yeah. like, yo, you <laughs> have one round. <laughs> don't, don't mess around and yeah. do this. And that's why the guy just was like, screw it and started getting cheesed. And yeah. then they just called it. That was jokes. But. Yeah, it yeah. was a cool event. And bro, taking KSI did a track with Rick Ross and Lil Baby. Yeah, that's crazy. And they crazy. performed at the event. Yeah. That like was a YouTuber, bro. Yeah. But he's he's one of the biggest. Bro, he like is he I saw it, a thing where know? they said he's the biggest and most recognizable face in the UK. KSI? Yeah. As an entertainer. Yeah. I don't know if that's like if you asked everybody that, but that's but what yeah. this guy, yeah. like some old dude who was talking in this press conference thing, he was like, He is the top of the top in terms yeah. of UK YouTuber or UK inf- like UK celebrities, which yeah, is insane. Yeah. It's crazy. The UK puts so yeah, much yeah. more respect on YouTubers than a anywhere lot. else, bro. Yeah. Canada needs to catch up. You US know, needs Canada to needs to Canada catch up. Canada is so far behind, bro. From everything. You know, people mostly think we're in LA. Yeah. Like we feel in the people US. don't even know we're here. Yeah. And That's the, crazy. the Canadian entertainment scene doesn't put no respect on no. YouTubers' names. But you were in LA yesterday, no? Yeah, I went to LA. Um, I literally, it, it kind of, I kind of played myself. I should have just gone a day earlier and gone yeah, to the good, fight. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I had a. I'm a, I'm a wish fluencer, baby. <laughs> That's the thing. I'm wish a wish fluencer. I've done one brand deal with Wish before, which I was pretty amped about. As you guys know, I've made like I don't even know at this point, like 40, 50 Wish videos. Yeah. And uh, I did a brand deal with them a while ago. And then they hit me up because they were having this Wish White Elephant party in LA. And I think it, it said they were looking for local influencers. And I'm like, I'm not local. See, they don't know. <laughs> yeah, they exactly. Yeah. They, they thought I was from LA. I was like, I am as far from local as you can get. <laughs> but uh, I'm down to pull up. So they, uh, they covered my flight. And then I went down to this uh, Wish White Elephant party, which was essentially, there was like, 10 other influencers there Mm -hmm. i didn't know any of them ahead of time but they're all really nice people and we basically faked having a christmas party oh like a holiday party so what was it for it was for uh their youtube channel oh wish youtube channel yeah wishes youtube channel and i i don't know maybe some ads or something i don't know exactly but it was like bro it was it was a shoot like a real commercial looking shoot i'm talking like gigantic cameras that are as big as your body yeah yeah yeah. like hanging over they had like backpacks just to hold the cameras and stuff it was like all kinds of lighting so you had to look happy and celebrate yeah they they rented this huge airbnb mansion spot they would like they'd get everyone to stand outside and then they'd be like action hit the hit the thing and everything and then 
there'd be like a shot where I walk in and I just look around like all excited and happy like with a What big you smile have, on Did you face. wear stuff from you or they gave you clothes? Uh, no, I just wore my own. They just said wear like regular holiday attire. And then we go oh, in nice. and then we sit. They, they had like a huge dining room table all yeah. like set up with nice like food holiday vibes okay and then they brought out food for us and it was the same thing just like they, the director would come over and be like all right guys so just <laughs> like look happy have a good time you know laugh da, da, yeah, da, yeah. Eat and pretend you're really enjoying the food and stuff and it was just like we didn't have to pretend everybody yeah, was yeah, just yeah. having a good time chatting laughing the food was bomb as hell like yeah. it was actually really good food some next level chef snap and uh and then we had some dessert and then we played this white elephant christmas game where you like so you weren't supposed to get a gift remember when i was telling you asking you if you no to yeah get a gift? no i didn't have to bring a gift yeah. they they brought like 11 gifts or whatever do you know how white elephant works? Yeah, yeah, yeah 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 i'm doing this next week oh yeah, yeah yeah perfect so it's basically for anyone who doesn't know what white elephant is it's like there's a bunch of gifts and then you pick out a, a name or you pick out a number and then it creates an order and then you can pick a gift or you can steal Exchange a gift it, yeah so uh like depending on what other people have had you decide to steal or, or just pick a a brand new gift and go from there and then you go all the way around and you get some interesting stuff and wish obviously has some pretty weird interesting weird. things so i got a i got a tortilla blanket oh and meat socks oh yeah it was pretty it was pretty interesting do you have them with you no i actually i forgot them at the house i need okay. to film a little thing for my instagram yeah. with, uh, they gave me a like a gift box too to take home nice that has a few other things that i haven't checked out yet but uh yeah it was really it nice. was it was cool to be like where i felt like a real actor or something yeah, like yeah, an yeah. extra in a movie or something because yeah. the guy was like directing us and he would a couple times he would come up to me and he's like okay i'm gonna get you to uh to start us off here so you just stand up and grab the bowl first and nice. then pass it along and then <laughs> at the end he's like all right you're uh i need you to just kind of stir up some shit for this last scene where we're gonna um basically have everybody Uh, like say that they like their gift the best yeah so he got me to start up and start off and i was like yeah all you guys think you got good stuff or like <laughs> yo this tortilla blanket is where it's at i'm like a king this is my cape and i was just going off oh whatever. my god i'm excited to see that video talking. yeah I, me too it's, gonna, it's gonna be to really cool uh they're i think they're just gonna post on their youtube channel on It'll youtube be up. Yeah. i don't know how long this type of thing takes to turn around probably december for the holiday yeah I, i would guess so but Maybe they're trying to get it out before Thanksgiving. I don't know. When's Thanksgiving? At the end of like the month. Like twenty seventh or twenty eighth or something. Yeah, I'm doing this acting thing, not acting, but like a show next next week. You're doing a show? Not a show, but like um, it's for tourism, Canada tourism. Oh yeah, yeah. And they wanted like some like um, influencers that are in uh, in Ottawa. They hit me up and I said, yeah, I'm down. So it's gonna. They want to know my like a day in my life. That's lit. Yeah, probably gonna br bring them here because that's a yeah, day in my yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's dope. But quick, you know. So are you posting anything or they're just posting No, they're you? posting me. It's like they're gonna they want to live what I live and like see how I like inside the life of a YouTuber oh. in Ottawa and then see what I do in Ottawa and why I like staying in Ottawa and Some vibes. They gave me a bunch of questions I have to prepare for that. When are you doing that next week, you said? On the 21st. Yeah. 21st. Yeah. Jeez. Will you be here yeah, on the 21st? Actors. Uh I should be. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because you're part of my life, Sean. They need yeah. to see this. Yeah, you know. <laughs> did I did I ever tell you that I did an auto tourism thing back in the day? Really? Yeah, before I was like doing YouTube. Well, I was doing a little bit of YouTube. What'd you do? This they did. Uh, I don't even remember all the details around it, but basically they did a campaign where they needed someone to play Mr. Ottawa, <laughs> and I was Mr. Ottawa. Holy! <laughs> oh my God! So I was like, Have you ever seen those commercial, the Enterprise commercials with the the guy with the super deep voice, and he just walks around, and he's all like macho and like kind of yeah, and the, the car stuff. Like he's a smartass. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that was, was kind of the type of character I was supposed to play. Oh, nice! So it's just me walking around, but I'm wearing like a suit and a tie in the Byward Market, like saying oh, whatever. Nice. And yeah, uh, yeah I'm, I was Mr. Ottawa for, for that, so that was pretty <laughs> funny. I filmed it. Dave helped me film like the audition tapes for really? it and stuff. Yeah, it w it turned out super cringe. Yeah, yeah. Like it it was just because all the funny stuff that I did when I did the audition tape, we mm -hmm. weren't really allowed to include. So it had to be way more professional, like, professional, yeah. and just strict yeah. on like oh the art museum is nice or some stupid shit like that where it's like okay yeah, yeah we get it but it's not funny so all the delivery was kind of terrible but yeah. it was still fun i got paid 500 bucks for a day's worth of nice. work at the time i was busting <laughs> yeah nuts yeah yeah but yeah i was mr yeah. ottawa so ottawa tourism come to ottawa you know not much to do but not much But maybe yeah. maybe more, you know. Once the studio's up and running, yeah, we're changing Ottawa one studio at a time. At a time. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> That's vibes. Yeah, Sean. Um, so oh, you have on here. Yeah. So what are we? And this sounds yeah, like yeah, yeah. I love I love doing the podcast after we haven't hung out for like yeah. four or five days because we yeah, we days. have so much to talk about. Even before we film the fo- film the podcast, we like spend twenty minutes just like, oh yeah, what yeah, happened? yeah. And then we're Catch like oh up. shit no we can't talk about yeah. this we gotta save talk it. the podcast. Well, yeah, I'm interested to hear this. Yeah. So what are we? Okay, this is like it's um bothering me a lot. Okay. Okay. I'm hanging out with this friend, a girl. Yeah. Oh, okay. do you need advice from me? Is uh, that what this is? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I, got I called you. Ryan uh, at the moment. You're in LA. Mm. I called Ryan. And no, you were actually on the plane c- flying oh, back okay, here. Yeah, yeah. That was like last night. But um, so I'm hanging out. Like we've been hanging out. Like nothing really. Just hang out, you know? <laughs> actually just hanging out. Yeah, yeah. And then um, last night, um, I w- like I was at my house and then she came over. Just like I was actually just having food and then we're, ha- we're having dinner. And then midway the dinner, she, cause she's like... um. So again, I need to ask you something. Oh fuck! I'm like fuck. <laughs> what someone asked, I need to ask you something. Like, <laughs> yeah. what? You what? know you're in trouble. You know, and uh, she's my like. I thought we we're friends and everything, and then she's like, "So what are we?" Oh, those dreaded That's, four words, bro. So what are we? I'm like, I said, we're something. That's literally <laughs> I said we're something. I, <laughs> like, I wish I was there for this interaction. <laughs> I feel like this would be so funny bro, to see live. It was. It was because she's she's very mature and like. She's a little older than me and very mature and stuff. So, uh, <laughs> like, I, I'm like, we're something. And then she's like, yeah, we're, can you? We're something. <laughs> she's like, can you collab- like elaborate, elaborate? Yeah, yeah. Uh, more about something? I'm like, yeah, we're, we're something fun. <laughs> and then, bro, when I said we're something fun, she's like, what do you mean? Like, what, what's fun oh for you? Oh, my God. And then I said, we, we hang out. We, like, <laughs> chill together, you know? We watch Netflix and chill and stuff. And then we have fun. Yeah, we have some fun. And then she's like, so that's all it is, just fun. I'm like, you don't shit, you want to have shit. fun? <laughs> That's what I said. I'm like, Life is all about having fun. You're so awkward. <laughs> I don't oh know what God. to say. Oh I, I panicked. God. I'm panicking. And I'm like, I, to be honest, I don't really know what we are, but like, it's something fun. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> How many times did you say fun? I said like seven <laughs> times. Because like, I'm emphasizing on fun. Because I don't want a relationship with her. Obviously not. Because like, if I wanted, I would have already been dating her. Yeah. I don't want a relationship. And I just want to like, that's like watch Netflix, chill sometime, whenever. Like you just want to have fun. Just fun for now. Na- Girls with just want to have fun. So does Guy. No, I, 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 I need a girlfriend. A a I know it's a song. Girls, <laughs> and, but um, so I don't know to say what are we. And then she's like, um, so what? So what is this? Like, what's going on between us? And again, I'm like, fun. what's going on between us is you come here, we have fun, and then it's fun times. <laughs> like <laughs> that's like what it is. I didn't know what to say. I have I literally didn't know. And then um, <laughs> right after this, she was like, oh, like different, obviously, because like, then she said, so where's this going? And then <laughs> there's a Friends episode that this is the whole thing. <laughs> I'm like, this is going really somewhere fun for me. And then <laughs> and then she's like, so you don't see yourself like more than fun. I'm like, yes, I, I do. And then I'm, and then she's Liar. like, and then she was like, so you think we would like date someday? I'm like, sure. I said, <laughs> I literally said, sure, I think so. But I don't know. That's what I was panicking and she was bombarding yeah, me with yeah, questions. Yeah, yeah. And then she's like, okay, I got you. This is really fun, but I need to go. And she then, said that? Yeah, she said, this oh. is really fun, but I need to go. I'm like, oh, well, I guess the fun <laughs> stops here. <laughs> <laughs> and then she left. Bro, I then, guess the fun <laughs> stops here. And then as, as soon as I see her in my driveway, she's yeah. backing up and everything. And then she goes on her phone. And she's like, I'm going to ask you this for the last time. What are we? Literally. She, like, yes, yes, yes. You can see her texting you. Yeah. <laughs> and from my driveveway. Like, I was upstairs and, and like from the window. And then I didn't respond. I called Ryan. I'm like, yo, Ryan, what do I say? He's like, say we're married. So I texted <laughs> her. Classic Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> Never asked Bro. Ryan. <laughs> so I texted her married. With, I said, obviously married with heart eyes. And then she said, Ala Mafayo. And never responded, nothing. That's that's That ended here. <laughs> you haven't talked to her since? Nothing since. Oh, my God. But I'm glad it ended that way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Moving on now, but, you know. Sometimes you just got to be raw. You just got to say, I'm just having fun, and that's it. I said fun 20 times to the I girl. Know. But, but but when she asked you if you if you could <coughs> potentially date and all that, she's just looking for something to hold on yeah, to. Yeah, I know. You, sometimes you just got to cut that string. <laughs> Cause it's easier for in the long run. For exactly, everybody. you're gonna get there eventually. Yeah, you know? exactly. So that's when someone asks, "So what are we?" I panic, 
and hopefully I'm never gonna get asked this question. Oh, you are definitely gonna get. Asked it's that it's the again. worst question someone can have ask you, you. Have you been on the flip side of that? Have you ever liked somebody? Yes. And said <laughs> that to them, and what did they say? No, to I you? never said that to them. But or like that equivalent, maybe yeah, not exactly that. Yeah, but yeah, you were yeah. like, yo, so yeah. are we dating? Or yeah, yeah, Will yeah. you be my girlfriend? And what did they say? I'm never asked someone like right away. I was I was in that spot like I really loved this girl like lo- not love but like liked her a lot and uh, I was down to be in a relationship with her and then I'm like so like I I said so like like let's we should take it to the next level or, like something like that and then yeah. she said but like I just broke up with my ex so I can't do that right now uh, and then I'm like okay you're off and then like I didn't want so she was just real with you she just yeah, said it straight th- up w- which is great she and then, didn't say this is fun no no <laughs> <laughs> but then yeah. Yeah, it's it's. I feel like girls are are more okay with just telling you how it is. Than girls would tell are. you straight up. Yeah, like, they'll yeah, just say yeah. no. This Cut. isn't it. This yeah. is I'm not ready. Whatever. Whereas you, like you said, if you get asked that question, you're like, ah, well, you know, yeah, like I panic. Uh, and I feel like that's honestly most guys react that way. And I, I, I don't know why. Maybe we're scared of like hurting their feelings, or I get. I bet it's probably we're just mostly savages and we don't want the fun to end. Uh, that's one we're trying thing. to figure out a way to continue the fun <laughs> without <laughs> but i was generally not trying to like hurt her and say like i'm not trying yeah. to date a bit of both a bit you of know? both you don't yeah. want to hurt their feelings yeah. and you want the fun to continue and now she got it on a fun way and we're not like she, we're never gonna see each other again but she got it in a fun way that didn't hurt her feelings <laughs> i hope not but i don't know i think you heard <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, that's now good though moving on we're going to feel like a lot of people can relate to that yeah this weekend we're in Toronto. Me, yeah, it's you. Jad's birthday this weekend. Jad, so yeah. everybody, uh, it's it's past by the yeah, time this past, podcast yeah. is out. So be sure to go wish Jad, Chad with a J on Instagram, a happy birthday. Yeah, belated birthday if you haven't already. You terrible <laughs> friend fans. Exactly. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. You're not. Nah. But go. Uh, yeah, go. <laughs> wish our boy happy yeah, birthday. Yeah, it's his first birthday away from home, bro. Yeah. I miss him already. Jad, Same. come back, come back. I miss. See, you, I talking miss. about this, bro. Our friends are not here now. It's. For you, you you found your way of filming alone. I'm and fucking Gucci. living your life. I'm Gucci. <laughs> so now, bro, I thought of a thing. Uh, I'm trying to add someone, and my mom is there. You know my mom, right? Yeah, like, start you know pranking my mom. your mom. Yeah, she's so innocent. She doesn't know nothing about like. She's so sweet too. Yeah, like, like she's sweetheart, a sweet, you know? a sweetheart. Yeah. yeah, and so sweet. Heart, sweetheart. Sweetheart. Yeah. So I'm doing a nice prank. I can't. This my prank would be way out when from this podcast but bro i told you i'm gonna be doing the biggest <laughs> the biggest cocaine prank of my mom <laughs> i can't wait to do that what it's is it with arabs and pranking their moms you're the new age phase rug you know that's how he first came yeah out? yeah yeah He's yeah pranking, pranking his mom like windex prank <coughs> yeah shit. my first like i had a video that has three million views on facebook pranking my mom when i got arrested as a prank oh yeah yeah that one was good you know that was and good. now i'm gonna because she's worried about me she always asks me so how are you living are you eating good are you doing any drugs and I always say no because I don't do drugs. And then to di- tonight, I'm going to have a bunch of fake drugs, fake money laying on my so bed. not only are you trying to convince <laughs> her you're doing drugs, but you're also selling drugs. Yeah, selling drugs. A bunch. I ordered so this much fake be, money. I'm, I'm seeing a potential podcast title here. <laughs> you know. We're selling drugs. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I might get uh, demonetized. <laughs> demonetized so far. That's what I'm worried. You think I can put like... Um, cocaine prank on my mom and the title i don't know bro i don't know i think you might get slapped on that oh my god because see that's why yeah I youtube has changed a lot since when when phase rug was doing that kind of <coughs> stuff and i i think you might get slapped yeah i'm, I'm i need to try to avoid it like smart so i yeah. don't get slapped ask your ask your manager yeah guy. i'm gonna ask those guys i don't see how, what's up with the like the title or just maybe don't put cocaine put like drugs or drug, something yeah drug prank on my mom yeah there's a bunch of like drug documentaries and stuff yeah and it's a prank too so yeah yeah i think you might be able to get away with it that way. <coughs> yeah but hopefully. that'll be funny yeah that's tonight but speaking wait. speaking of what we were talking about you were saying like you know everything i figured out my way yeah and i just want to remind everyone who's listening to the podcast remember three weeks ago what did i say on the podcast i said when one door open or when one door oh, closes yeah, yeah. another door opens yep and sure enough, that's exactly what happened. Yeah, to you, buddy. <laughs> because I was open to it. I said, you know what? I, I believed it. Yeah. I knew that, you know, I wasn't too panicked. I was low-key, very stressed, but I was also just like, you know, I believe that when one door closes, another door opens, as long as you keep yourself open to that possibility. I did, and my Wish videos are getting a million views in a day, and I'm fucking popping bottles. I yeah. love Wish. Yeah. Wish, <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I love, <laughs> I oh love you. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but seriously seriously yeah. i'm i'm pretty amped about it obviously but I, it's just 
proof for you guys that if you know some shit's happening in your life and you're stressed about it just be open to the positive side and i swear shit shit works out if you're mm -hmm. open to the positive side that's uh, exactly what happened yep it's it is it, it's for you yeah. it works and it'll out really happen good. for you too Guy. you yeah, just gotta yeah. keep yourself open to it yeah no it's, it it's, might not happen mine was literally like was the crazy. timing was weird yeah yeah, yeah it was it crazy. was literally like it was the next the, day it was the next day yeah, after yeah, they yeah. left <laughs> i had a video do better than i think i've had a video do yeah maybe one or two videos have done better in my entire career the yeah. day or two days after they left and i was like yo yeah. what's going on and then the next one did well and the next and i was like yeah it's it's nuts but maybe there's a god somewhere looking down on me blessing yep. me there is for sure mm -hmm. so you want to say some jingles oh yeah are you ready? Yep. The best part of waking up is Dr. Hubs. <laughs> 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 That's not a jingle. Say that again. The best part. The best part of waking up is <sighs> Kellogg's. <laughs> I feel like it's some cereal thing. No. Kellogg's. Yeah, I'll, give you, I'll give you the next word. The best part of waking up is Folgers. Soldiers? Folgers. F what's Folgers? Folgers. I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> Folgers? Well, that doesn't help then. Folgers? It's Folgers in your cup. I don't know what Folgers. I don't know if I sang that right. Folgers, it's a coffee brand. The best part of waking You're up. You're picking the, like, some stuff that no one knows about. The best part of waking up. Is in <laughs> your cup. Oh, I've heard this. I've yeah, heard this, like, yeah, sing, yeah. like, the melody. Yeah, yeah. Dun, 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 Soldiers dun. in your cup. Fo Folgers. Oh. <laughs> Folgers. <laughs> Soldiers <laughs> in your cup. Uh, There's some. What's the? Uh, one more. One more. One more. One more. Okay, I'm gonna. Can you hear it? Yeah. I'm gonna play half of it, and you just. I'm gonna pause it, and then you fill in the blanks, cause this is like a full ass song. <laughs> How? <laughs> <laughs> okay, go. All right, ready? Yeah. It's a juicy fruit one. What's this? Grab a stick of juicy, juicy fruit. The taste is gonna move ya. Take a sniff. Take a bite. Right? Yeah. Oh, really? No. <laughs> take a bite, take a sniff, take a lick. <laughs> Make sure to suck it all. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. not it? Yo, no. Okay, <laughs> let's try it again. The taste is gonna move ya. Uh -huh. <laughs> Pull it up. The taste is gonna move ya when ya. Uh, when ya. <laughs> the taste is gonna move ya when ya. Swallow it. <laughs> <laughs> it's gum. Who oh, it's gum. Uh, when you chew it all. <laughs> <laughs> it's gum. For, I, I forgot what juicy fruit was. I thought it's uh, juice. It's gonna move ya. <laughs> There's no way people know that stuff. Yeah, that one's like a full ass song. Alright, so we've we've had a lot of different types of discussions on this channel. And I feel like we should have some more meaningful ones. Yes. So, Guy asked me this question the other day, and we're going to bring it on to the podcast. What does it mean to you to make it or to have made it? When is someone made it? Yeah. Yeah. When is someone made it? You know what? That's, you know, <laughs> Guy, I'm proud of you, man. Thank you. Why? You just said something more concisely and in a better way than I did. Thank you. That's Sean. a milestone, Ooh. dude. You know, that's Congrats. a big, big step. I'm impressed. I'm really Thank impressed. Thank you. Thank you. Well done amazingly done but does that uh, do you feel like you made it no <laughs> <laughs> nope <laughs> you i feel like the thing is oh that's what i, I want to say too but anyways for you i feel like you kind of made it my g you made it thank you i appreciate that that yeah. means a lot that's that's a great compliment like yo, yeah. you made it and if you mean it not like yo you made it as in no like, you actually made it like you made it why you do you okay so why do you think i made it um, after these past couple of days, I seen your fucking channel flying <laughs> off the roof. <laughs> no, so. I feel like you made it because okay, one, you have a great relationship with your girlfriend. That's okay. a good thing. Definitely. A good Two, thing. Yep. your bank account is smiling at the word right now. <laughs> it's laughing, <laughs> giggling. You know, that's a big thing. Money is a big. But thing. But that's just right now. That's right now. No, and uh, you have money. Like you, you, I'm you comfortable. You've com you're more than comfortable. You're rich. You're <laughs> okay, rich. Okay, relax. There. Okay, your you're rich. So you made it too. Right. Okay, but you're rich. So money is a thing. Love life is a thing. You have both of those. A car is a thing. You have a nice car. And just the way you live. Like, like if someone's happy, they made it. And they have all that. Okay. So you have it all. But like I'm thinking like like let's say a guy that is like really p like low income, but he's happy. 
I don't think that's that he made it. You don't think he made it? No. That we, we, we were arguing about yeah. that. No. We, we had a pretty long argument about this in the car, and then we cut it short because yeah. we're like, we should talk about this on the podcast. And I think at bare bones, bare bones, like n- yeah. nothing else really matters. If you're happy, you made it. To me. That because I think to everybody, they're going to have a different definition of made it. And, and, but at its bare bones, for most of those people, making it means you're happy. So it's like some people care really about true. making money. Some people care about having uh, you know, a partner. Some ke- people care about different things. But to all of them, the things that they care about are essentially what makes them happy. Yeah, but like if you have those, you're happy automatically. Yeah, but so but for different people, those are different things. Exactly, different things right. cause people to be happy. So saying like having money means you made it. Not really. No, that's not the thing. Or it's part of the thing that means you made it. The made it, bro, is like the real th- meaning of if you made it, the real one, like you didn't, like no one really made it except very few people. It's like when you like a revolution something, like create something that changes the world, okay. like Elon Musk. You impact the world. Yeah, that's made it. Like, you know, Jeff Bezos, the Amazon guy. Yeah. He revolutionized fucking packaging. So in your mind, there's like 15 people in the world who've made it. Yeah. That made it. Yeah. And the word. Yeah. And like, but then we can think about like made it like influence people. Like yeah. we do, you know, we influence a lot of like uh, people. That's I just feel like made it should be an achievable thing. It should be achievable for everybody to feel like they made it. And it's not achievable for everyone to have a Jeff Bezos type impact where they no, start an Amazon. No that one will get there. Just, it's like you can't do it. But that doesn't mean you can't. Like, I just feel like you're limiting people. Like, uh, you think a doctor at a hospital it. made it? Hell yeah. They're saving lives. They are, but like, like that's what what uh, that's made it, bro. You're saving lives, like that's impact. Okay, like I'm like let's say an eye doctor or like uh, like, uh, like a like not uh, like a surgeon. Like, I don't know. I would say maybe the top surgeon in the hospital made it because like he's he's different than the rest. That's what I feel like. It you should be different at least, or like not like regular. Like that's what I like. That's what like have a different type of something that people can't have. That's when you made it. So you made it if you are. Special, you know, in some way, okay. like LeBron James made it. But everybody's special but in like their own pa- way. Like, bro. let's say Pascal Siakam, you know, bro, he, he made it. He made it, but at a very he made. Are you dumb? This guy's getting a hundred thirty million dollar yes, contract. Yes, he made it. This guy kay, grew kay. up in fucking Cameroon. Okay, okay. He's an Steph NBA. Curry, it's, it's my my mistake. He made it big time, Pascal Siakam. But Steph Curry made it, right? Yeah. But let's say Seth Curry, his brother, not really. Like it's like it. He's a regular basketball player that bro, plays in the NBA. He's an NBA player. You yeah. know how hard it is to get in the NBA, bro? That's made it. If you're in the NBA at all, like, I don't like know. it's a career. You are a NBA player, not like a you got in for you know, a G League contract, you got dropped, you never actually did anything, you yeah. didn't make any money in the NBA. That, I okay, fine, maybe you didn't make it. I think what I would say <clears throat> is whatever your goal is, if you achieve that goal, I would say you made it. That's Yeah, that's true. Because for different people, it's different things, you know? Like... Seth Curry, it's going to be hard for him. To, he's not that type of physical, like, freak. We, I mean, Steph Curry isn't either, but it's like, yeah, you different. can't be LeBron. You're not that same breed. Yeah. It's just not physically possible for you to be LeBron. But if your goal is to make it to the NBA and be an NBA player consistently year after year, that's a great goal. And it's I like, think if you get that, that's a made it. Bro, you made it. You're you, getting millions of dollars to play the sport yeah. you love. How, uh, I don't know what that's, else. You did, but... I would say, like, if you leave something behind, like Jeff Bezos, like, I'm telling you, like... Like uh, a legacy. Yeah, like um, Steve Jobs. He passed away, rest in peace, but he made it big time because, like, he revolutionized the cell phone and yeah. all that stuff. Those people that made it, you know, I, I don't feel know. Like like, that, uh, yeah, I guess I just feel like you're harsh with it. I feel like big there's... big thing. I it's feel like made thing. it, there's, like, there's made an impact and then there's made it. Yeah. yeah. And those guys made an impact, like a huge, huge impact. And it's just... yeah. They changed know. the world. Like they changed the world. Like that to me, that's that's bigger than made it. Yeah, that's like yeah. I made it. That's I, a legend. Yeah, you're exactly. You're a legend. You're an icon. You yeah, you yeah. changed the world. Now that's another level above made it. But if that's what you hold yourself to as made it, like in your brain, you haven't made it until you've made that type of impact. Yeah. Then that's that's cool for you. Like that's that yeah. means you hold yourself to a really high standard. I just feel like it's too high. The to hold it, everybody like mm. like yeah that's why i say it. made it is different for each person and if you're happy at the end of the day so you would say lebron james made it more than jeff bezos no they both made it you know they both but like they both made it in a different way but they both had a goal 
and they yeah. both achieve their goal to the highest of possible levels. Exactly. You know, like you can't yeah. be a more successful businessman than Jeff Bezos and you yeah. can't be a better basketball player at, in your prime than LeBron than James. LeBron. It's exactly. pretty much yeah. impossible or at least you can be close. But like those guys are the pinnacle in their respective fields. Pinnacle. That is, you know, that's yeah. more than made it. Like you are you are it. <laughs> at that point exactly. you're it you are the guy in that time frame in that industry yeah so that's a whole nother thing but yeah it's like it's like everybody it's just whatever you enjoy doing you go do that and if you're successful at it and you and you're happy then you made it that's, that's what i true. think yeah no yeah that's i was i just said like it's for me it's if you change something yeah i think world. you just hold yourself to a high, higher standard like you want to do That'd be More. crazy, yeah, yeah. You want to impact huge, but at the same time, I feel like that but might be pretty hard to do. It is very <laughs> you know? hard. You might never feel like you made it, but yeah. some of the people who achieve the most in their lives never settle exactly. for yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. you need to have that kind of mindset if that's what you yeah. want, because if you're just like, yo, I'm happy, I'm cool, I'm chilling, then you're never going to be the guy who starts yeah. the $100 billion company because you need to have something deep down inside that's like making you continue past the point of what every other person like most people make a hundred million and then <laughs> they're like all right vibes yeah, peace. i'm donezo i'm chilling on my yacht in the caribbean i'm doing whatever the That's fuck i Akon. want for the rest Akon of my life chilling yeah bro. well no akon went and fucking lit up africa my g yeah 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 you know but yeah. that's what like so if it just depends on the type of person you are but exactly. in order to revolutionize at the level you're talking about it has to be just like a create something different it's yeah. it's like a desire of yours like yeah. elon musk that guy doesn't give a fuck about money, I don't think. No. He just cares about leaving an, an yeah. imp like an impact on the world, a legacy, and he That's obviously crazy. He's done that. Those are people like, yeah, you know, you. I think it's good to, to aspire to be like yeah. that, but it's a, those people are. We looped. leaving we we leaving like fun videos, you know. People can yeah laugh We're around. Just, that's what I'm you know. Good times. Watch I'm happy. I, I mm. feel like I'm hopefully impacting some people. Yeah. That's cool. That is that's very nice. Yeah. You know, so different. But I, but I, at the same time, <coughs> yeah. I don't feel like I've made it. Okay. To go along with your point of like, always wanting more. Yeah, yeah. You'll always want more. I think that's, that's just in human nature. You yeah. always want more, no matter where you get, and yeah. that's what causes people to keep going and keep going and yeah. keep going. But I, I feel happy. I feel like I've made it for right now. But yeah. I'm not, I'm not settling. I'm, I'm not done. I feel like yeah. I have so much more that I can do, and so much more that I want to do. So. I guess I get what you mean in terms of, of that whole like made it, you know. When yeah. would I feel like I really, really? And then made you're it? done. Never. Yeah. You're never like just stop. I f I I I was thinking about this the other day. I think when I feel like I really made it, it was, is when I'm like 60 years old. Yeah. My kids yard. are happy. Yeah. They have kids. They've they've like everything is going good for them. Yeah. Then I'll really feel like I made it, because I yeah. feel at, at the end of the day that's your biggest legacy. Yeah. It's, it's going to be the, your kids. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. gonna be your biggest legacy. Whatever you leave behind, that they will be the biggest next impact. Yeah, exactly. After you're yeah. done, mm -hmm. so I, I would say, until then, I I don't I don't know if I'll ever feel like I'm really done. Yeah. Maybe I, I maybe I'll never feel like I'm done, which is probably a good thing. I never because they'll yeah, keep yeah. you going. Yep. But uh, yeah, so, uh, let us know. What do you guys think? What has made it for you? Yeah. Do you feel like you've made it? Do you feel like you will make it? Do you feel like you'll never feel like you made it? I don't know. Let us know. Yeah, comment down below. Fan speaking of made it, <laughs> I feel like I made it in my fantasy basketball league because yeah, I am yeah, number yeah, one yeah, yeah. <laughs> in the fantasy basketball league. You are. I beat Gee two weeks ago. I beat Boone, which isn't saying much. <laughs> Boone's team is absolute yeah, shit. Yeah, I'm beating him right now. <laughs> and then I'm playing Ryan right now, and Ryan's up on me by like 20 points, but I have an extra game. It's going to be a close game against Ryan. It's going to be very, very close. Let me pull up the, the standings. Did you get a YouTube creator email mm. about changing monetization and shit? Let me check. <laughs> yep. Important changes to YouTube monetization. No. <laughs> and I also won my fantasy football week. Oh, yeah, you did. You Bro, did. oh, right, okay, this was actually a story. Okay, so uh, if you don't watch football, this is a terrible story. Skip the <sighs> next five minutes. But I was down 33 fantasy points. I had Russell Wilson and the San Francisco defense, which were dueling like they were playing against each other in uh -huh. the Monday game. Are yeah. you about to fall asleep right now? <laughs> I don't know anything about <laughs> football. But so, yeah. <laughs> so 33 points is a lot. That's like getting 50 points in the basketball league. Oh, nice. It's like it's a big point. Yeah. Or maybe even 60. Like it's a large amount. 
and uh, <laughs> bro, bro, it was intense. It was intense. <laughs> okay, please, go, please go, let me go, have my go. moment. So we're we're watching the game at Charlie's house in LA. Me and Bongo and uh, Nick from pretty much, and we're um, like, bro, I was on the edge of my seat. Like I needed this win because yeah. next week it's like it's getting harder, and me and Sways are four points apart. Oh, total and he's on top he's he's ahead of me yeah. like we have the same record but he has four more points total okay. so that's why he's ahead of me and bro it goes down to the wire i'm down by one and a half points oh fuck one and a half points with like a minute left mm -hmm. and then russell wilson i think he's like i needed him to basically run 10 yards throw a pass get a touch on anything and i would have been up and he he they get within field goal range and just kick a field goal okay so now i can't i can't score i need san francisco to go down and tie the game so that it goes to overtime so that i have a chance to get more points okay so they drive down the field but they go overtime and they get they send it to overtime and then in overtime oh. bro and the the shitty part was if if the seattle offense so russell wilson scored on the san francisco defense okay i would lose points so Why? I would, that's okay. the only reason, reason I could gain points, but I would also lose because if you have the defense, like they get points for the amount of points they allow. Okay. So the less points they allow, the Holy more yeah. points they get. Their points. Yeah. Yeah. So, so basically I, if, if they drove down and anyone besides Russell Wilson scored, oh, then you're losing I was points. fucked. Yeah. So I was like in this weird, like I want them to go, but I don't want them. And it was all back and forth, back and forth. Basically ended up, uh, and then the game was insane too because they, in overtime, if mm -hmm. you don't score in the first quarter, it's a tie. Or if no, if it's a tie at the end of the first quarter, it's a tie game. Oh, okay. And so they went down, they kicked a field goal, or they went to kick a field goal, they missed the field goal. Oh my god! And the other guy went down to kick a field goal. They missed it too. They missed it, too. or no? Did they both? I don't fucking remember. That's crazy. Basically, it went back and forth, and they <laughs> ended up winning the game. Oh, uh, Russell Wilson throws the interception on the four-yard line. Oh, my God. So I God. lost two points. But then I gained two points because the yeah. San Francisco defense got oh, me nice. points for yeah, the yeah, interception. Yeah, yeah. Bro, it was just all back and forth. I ended up winning the game by, like, a point and a half. Nice. 134 and a half points to 133. That's crazy. I was crazy, fucking yeah. busting nuts all over the place. <laughs> I was so happy. Okay. And so now I'm second in my league, but it was it was intense. You had to be there, all right, Gee, just Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's not. No, usually when you watch football, it's, I always love it watching football with you guys. Yeah. It was super intense. Mm -hmm. And then the Raptors lost to the Clippers. I also realized I should have gone to the goddamn Clippers game. I was there for the Raptors, oh, Clippers, yeah. like Kawhi Leonard. Yeah, yeah, in LA. Oh, yeah, that'd bro. Be nice. I didn't think about it. Me and we we're watching the game, and then Bongo's like, "Bro, we should have gone to this." And yeah. I was like, you're "Oh right my there. god, you're right!" Like yeah. I, it just never even crossed my mind, but we lost anyways. So. Uh, oh yeah, we did. Okay, last topic. Let's let's let's. Um, I thought about this like driving here, because I heard Jeff and I was watching Jeff's podcast. You know Jeff Whitick, like, Scott Cast. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No. No. Or nothing it matters. No, it was his video actually. Oh, it was a video. Now. Gotcha. But like they, were, he 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 was. It's like a podcast when he get get gives haircuts and shit. Oh yeah yeah yeah. You know. So uh, he asked if he was doing it for Jason Nash, and he's like, "Are you happy that I joined um, Vlog Squad?" And then Jason was giving him. His like good things and everything and bad things. So you want to ask if I'm happy if you joined Alba? Yeah, then? like I'm 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 part of like the crew and everything. Like me, being a part of that. Are you happy? Are you sure you want to ask that question? Yes, Sean. I'm very sure. Don't definitely. ask questions you don't want to hear the answer to. <laughs> you ever heard that? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Am I happy that Guy joined Alba? It's one of those things that's kind of bittersweet, you know. Like Word I'm happy and I'm sad. Okay, yeah. You time. you talk and then <laughs> I, I, I'm not gonna say nothing. No, no. I, of course, of course. We wouldn't. The thing is. You wouldn't have joined if we didn't want you to. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, but like, are you happy though? Like, uh, like, is it like what? What? Like, we wouldn't have brought bring, you, you know? into the group if if we didn't like you, kind mm -hmm. of thing. Like, we we trust me. We've had tons of people who've been like, "Oh, can we film videos with you? We're from Ottawa. We want to film videos." Blah, blah, blah. And they all get curved. My goal was never that. Though. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't that. You didn't hit us up on like, "Yo, can I be in videos?" You hit us up yeah. on like, I think you were trying to help us get a brand deal at first yeah yeah and then we were like okay cool yeah sounds good yeah. and then a couple of the guys were hanging out with you and got to know you and liked you and then brought you into the rest of the crew and we all liked you and it was just like an organic thing whereas a lot of the other people were trying to come and join to film yeah. videos so it i think that's the best way to do it is are you happy sean is am i happy yeah, yeah. i'm happy what's nice. wrong with you yeah that's what i want to hear i'm trying to explain it of course i'm <laughs> fucking happy i would have made a podcast with you fucking weirdo i want to uh, let you know it's, yes it's nice to I'm happy. are you happy you joined alba yeah it changed even my though life. you're not really part of alba but you know like the crew like yeah yeah, um, yeah it changed my life yeah that's cool yeah 
You're like our charity case. Okay, and that was <laughs> our last topic <laughs> for today. No, you got th- okay. Uh, to go in more depth, because Guy just wants me to compliment him at this point. So you know what, Guy, <laughs> I'm gonna give you a little bit of a boost to the ego. Nice, nice. I'll talk about all your great attributes See and why that, I love you so thing. much. What I like about Guy is Guy is always going. It's what I like and I hate. This is one thing you'll. I feel like <laughs> when you realize this, it just like ma- everything makes sense. The things you love <laughs> the most about people are also the things you hate the most about them. Yeah. Because it, I think it's called like a shadow attribute or something it's like true, that. It's true, bro. I have that with you too. It's a thi- I swear. Yeah. Ev- every person in your life, the things that you admire the most about them and you like the most about them cause the things you hate the most about yeah. them. It's literally, the, it, it's just the way it works. So Guy is always wants to do stuff. He's super like uh, down for whatever. He's down to help out. He's like always has a lot of energy. He can't sit still. And that it leads us into the <laughs> negative part. It's like he, he can't, like you always want to be doing things, You're but it's like you won't just chill kind of thing. So it's like yeah. depends what mood you're in as like or what mood I'm in fits better with with what you're down for you know what i mean yeah but it's that's just how it is and when you realize that it just kind of makes you more tolerant of the negative things because you want those positive things it's like well i I can't gi wouldn't be (laughs) gi without all this like i need that that's what that's what i love about gi so if he wasn't that or if if the some of the annoying things weren't there then neither would the positive things so you got to take the good with the bad yeah but yeah, Guy's always down for anything, which is awesome because I'm like a little bit less down to do stuff. So yeah. <laughs> I need people like that around me because it makes me do more things. It makes me get out. and I, Otherwise, I would just work and never have fun. Yeah. So I need people who like to have fun to drag me out and get me to do more stuff who are like a little more outgoing. Bro, have you watched the Jeff? And that's what exactly he said about Jason Nash and Jeff. This is what Jason, Jason said yeah, about Jeff? Yeah. So <laughs> I'm Jason, you're Jeff? Yeah. Except visually it's reversed? And Money Lee. Oh, no, Money Lee is not reversed. I think, like... They're probably around. I don't know. Nah, I don't just know. visually, because I'm way better looking, just like Jeff. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. You're good looking. Thank you. You're great looking, Sean. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, and Guy's funny. I, I think Guy's hilarious, personally. I re- that's one of my... The biggest things is when it comes to content creation is you need people who you vibe with and are funny. Yeah. And I think Guy is hilarious. Like, just me, personally, when I'm filming, I think I laugh a lot when I film with you because I yeah. think you're really funny and the shit that you say just <laughs> cracks me up. So it's yeah. great, you know? That's always the number one thing when you're filming with someone. They have to, you have to have fun doing it and and part of that is, you yeah. know, are they funny? Are they... And you're willing, you're a willing participant, you know? Sometimes, especially for, for when you've been doing YouTube for a long time, when you've been doing anything for a long time, that shit gets boring exactly, and yeah. people are less inclined to go out of their way to do stuff. So that's yeah. happened with the with the guys. It's like when we first started out, whatever David want us, wanted us to do, we yeah, would do it. Do it yeah. Yes, sir. How high? All <laughs> that. We were just having fun. We would do anything. Yeah. Now we've been doing it for four years. People ask you to do some crazy shit, like eat some weird stuff. We're like, yeah, I don't know. Nah, I don't yeah, do that nah. anymore. <laughs> like I'm past that. I'm not eating some weird ass whatever. I'm not going through all this pain. But Guy's fresh. He's just yeah. like a nice, fresh piece of meat that's I feel down like I'll to always do everything. <laughs> I'll, be, yeah. I'll always be down for You're that. You're kind of always, yeah, that's just like how you are. So it's it's really refreshing to have someone who's not like, though sometimes you do, you're like, yeah. oh, are we done yet? Are we done yet? Okay, okay please, yeah, please, please, I have to go. Uh-huh. Please, are we done I yet? I know, that's, that's and then something. And that's when I'm like, yo, yo, <laughs> gee, 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 gee. <laughs> just fucking let's finish the video before you start doing that. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that's generally speaking like when i did my big bubble house fort that was like a full day because my videos fun, take though. a long time yeah and he never complained whereas some of the other guys would probably have been <laughs> like you know sitting on their yeah. ass while i do everything like clearly not not really trying to do half the stuff but he was right there setting it up and that was with fun everything. yeah that was had fun in it right after too. <laughs> 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 that was a fun vid that was oh. actually a fun vid yeah, that was good times. Good yeah. times. The bubble. The bubble's destroyed in my backyard. It's still in well. that backyard. It's still okay. So we deflated <laughs> the bubble house. For anyone who's seen that video, it's just like this big bubble house. I don't know how else to explain it. And I deflated it, and then I think I went away for a week. Yeah. And I came back, and it had rained. So th- basically, the bubble house had created all these little puddles, filled with rain, and <laughs> then like grass would fly into it and stuff from wind. Basically, there's like a whole ecosystem. It's crazy. It's disgusting. Like it's it's like (laughs) muddy and green and 
like swamp water vibes all on top of it and i'm pretty sure there are like there's definitely bacteria and shit living in this in for this sure setup. yeah there's definitely bacteria and stuff living there but uh yeah that was a fun video yeah that was fun i enjoyed that video. i'm trying to buy a house off uh what off alibaba now a house <laughs> yeah <laughs> like you, a football house yeah wish or alibaba is kind of like a wish vibe you can buy yeah, weird, weird shit yeah. i'm trying to buy a house off there you can buy a, 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 like a full-fledged house i'm trying to do it for a video and, and build it up and build it up kind of the same thing we did and put it in here <laughs> it would be like a whole oh, over there? a whole room in here that'd be sick but Bro, alibaba yeah. is the one of the only things that was used to deliver to lebanon oh so really I, yeah that's a, a joke. bunch of stuff from alibaba alibaba yeah all right your turn what do you love about me about you, bro, you're very determined. That's okay. A, that's a quality. And, like, sometimes, like, when you want to do something, you just really want to do it. And yeah. then you're, you're smart the way you speak. Like, I don't want to do something. Like, at eight, eight, like nine at night, you remember? Yeah. I was driving back. <laughs> I was going to go home, relax, because I was driving from Toronto. But the way you speak, like, you... You get someone to do stuff the way you want. It's it's <laughs> fucked. So I'm manipulative. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's it's a great thing to have. Like, I I, I want to have that because, and it's good. And yeah. like you're good at that. You're good at like getting what you want in good ways, not like you know. Okay. Not I'm really not fun. like I'm not taking advantage of. People. No, no, not uh, taking advantage, but like you you sweeten things and like you make it sound good when I really want to go home. But I'm then a I'm salesman. Like, yeah, you uh, you could <laughs> actually say, yeah you. You worked in sales, no? I did, yeah, for a while. Yeah, maybe that's why. You're actually <laughs> yeah. good with your words. And what I like in you, bro, like, you you love to, like, switch it out. Like, you travel. You like to travel a lot. And that's a great thing about someone. Yeah. Like exploring. Yeah. Being I'm outside curious. the bubble, you know? Not just, yeah. like, here and there. And Speaking of traveling, where are we going next? Besides Toronto. Bro, we got to go, go somewhere, somewhere cool. Let's go with Derek, bro. Me, you, and Derek, we have yeah. good fun. Go rock climbing. Yeah. We should rock climb more here. <laughs> we should but I, you don't I, have the wall in the office yet so we can go to the gym it's five minutes away yeah, me and dave are gonna come here once the wall is gonna be up why don't we go all three of us to the rock climbing gym tonight the, nah not tonight. what i have a friend coming over for some fun <laughs> 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 and with that being said <laughs> <laughs> yeah i think that's a good way to end it off yeah all right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for listening. Be sure to rate us five stars on the podcast five apps star. that you're listening. Be sure to smash the like button and comment down below. Uh, let us know if you want us to keep doing an audio-only version like we did in the last podcast. We didn't do it this time because, well, yeah. last time we only did it because the camera died. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't like a planned thing. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, thank you guys so thank much. Thank you, guys. Everyone who comments, this is what they look forward to on Mondays. I love you. That's yeah, my yeah, yeah. favorite, That's favorite, my favorite, comment, favorite yeah. comment to read. And if you made it all the way to the end of the podcast, I also love you. So thank you guys uh -huh. so much. My name is Sean. My name is Dr. Hobbs. <laughs> <laughs> Peace. <laughs>